the meat totally goes. Um, isn't it? It's super, super, super tender. Do you love stews? Well, let's make it the Mexican way. This recipe has finally made it to Villa Cocina after many requests from you guys. And I don't blame you because this stew is sensational. All right, let's get started by roasting those ingredients, which is really going to deepen the flavors. Roast four poblano peppers over medium to medium high heat. These are mild originally from Puebla, Mexico, and once dried, they turn into the well-known ancho chile, which we use a lot in this kitchen. Also add three jalapeños. Turn them as needed, allow them to get a nice char all around. It's really gonna intensify those flavors, give us a light smokiness that it's incredibly good. Oh my goodness, this is starting to smell like chile rellenos. Gets me so excited. I'll leave you the link to my recipe down in the description area. Once they are ready, transfer them into a Ziploc bag. This is going to create a sauna so they can start sweating. Now roast and cook one pound of tomatillos. Same temperature and turn them as needed. All right, let's leave the tomatillos alone for a little bit. We're still gonna check on them, but let's get some prep done. Dice one medium white onion and the waterworks. Here they come. Transfer it into a bowl. Tomatillos are coming along. Now mince five large garlic cloves. All right, remove those tomatillos. They are ready. I could hear those juices working their magic. The peppers have had enough time to sweat. That skin has loosened. I'm just gonna remove it. Feel free to use kitchen gloves because even though poblanos are mild in heat, you may get the occasional spicy one. Peeling pepper seems the perfect time to remind you that you can find the full printable recipe on villacocina.com. The link is gonna be down in the description area. Cut the poblanos open and remove the seeds and stem. As far as the jalapenos, you can remove the seeds or choose to leave them for an added kick of heat. Now, Nelson is not handling a lot of heat very well these few days, so I'm just gonna leave the seeds on one of the peppers. If you really want this dish spicy, you could even go for serrano peppers. Transfer them into a blender together with the cooled tomatillos. One cup of low sodium chicken broth. Now cover and blend until it is smooth. Perfect, I can see a little bit of specks in there, which is great. For this stew, we need three pounds of boneless pork shoulder. Pat it dry to remove some of that surface moisture. Remove excess chunks of fat that you may see on top. And then just cut the entire piece into small bite-sized pieces. You don't wanna go super small because this is a stew, it's gonna cook for a little bit, but small enough that you can bite into them and not have to struggle when you're eating. Season with salt and black pepper to taste. Mix it in thoroughly, making sure every single piece is well seasoned. Place a large pot over medium high heat and add a little bit of avocado oil because that meat is gonna render its own fat. We're just getting it started with a little bit of oil. Once hot, add in the pork. Brown the meat and do it in batches to prevent sweating, which is caused by overcrowding the pods. This process is the perfect way to obtain a rich flavor, which is always what we strive for. Lower the heat to medium low and add a couple of tablespoons of oil. Once hot, saute those onions until slightly softened. The onions have now started to sweat. The bottom is deglazing. It's time to add the garlic, one teaspoon of dried Mexican oregano, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, it's just a touch, and half a teaspoon of ground allspice. And just continue to cook this for a couple of minutes, allowing those spices to toast. It's gonna release those essential oils and the flavors and aromas are gonna awaken. 
All right, meat goes back into the pot with all of its juices. Pour in the salsa. I'm just gonna add half a cup of low sodium chicken broth so that I can get the remainder of the salsa. Nothing goes to waste here. Stir that in. Oh, this is looking gorgeous. Crank up the heat for the stew to reach a boil. Then lower the heat to medium low. That way it reaches a gentle simmer. Add in three bay leaves. Cover and cook for 45 minutes or until the meat is fork tender. Our stew is almost ready. Let's prep the final ingredients. Roughly chop half of a bunch of cilantro. And small dice, 10 ounces of panela cheese. Our stew is ready. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm almost done. Mm. Let's take a look at this. Looks great. Our salsa has reduced down. We're almost at the desired consistency. I'd say maybe reduce it down a little bit more. But first, I'm going to add the cilantro. Also the cheese. And just stir it in. Let it cook on a gentle simmer for an additional two minutes. That way that cheese softens. It's not going to melt. It's just going to take this really nice and soft texture and leave it uncovered. Finally, add a salt to taste. And look at that consistency. Take a close look at it. It's exactly what you want. And that meat is super tender. It's time for us to enjoy. Turn off the heat and let's plate this up. Pair this stew with Mexican style rice, some beans. I'm gonna leave both of these recipes linked down in the description area. Drizzle a little bit of lime juice over it some chopped cilantro, and there you have it. Enjoy it because this is amazing. Corn tortillas are hot. And then sun is ready. I'm ready. And a taco, right? Anyway, possible for us to eat this. <laughs> oh yeah, let's do beans. Wow. Those beans totally go. The meat totally goes. Um, isn't it? It's super, super, yeah. super tender. You might find yourself picking through the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> if you have kids, count on it. Mm. Man, everything is so good. Wow. Remember, they can follow us on all of our social media platforms. And until the next one, bye. We got some stew going, everybody. <laughs>